Hello, my name is Pete Arthur. I'm the Technical Training Manager for NEDEC Control Techniques North America. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the SD Card Manager, which is part of our Connect Drive Commissioning software. So if you're ready, let's get started. I'm working with a new SD card, and I've just inserted it into my computer. Before I can use the SD Card Manager, and my new card, I'm going to need to format the new SD card. So I'll do that. I'm going to come to File Manager. There's my SD card. And then to format it, I'll just right click, choose Format. The only thing that's important here is that the file system be FAT32. So after that, and Quick Format works just fine, I'll click Start. Okay. And now my card is formatted. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the card for use with our drives using the SD card manager. The SD card manager can be accessed from a couple of different places. First of all, I can get at it here in the setup group right there. And I can also get at it up here under Tools and Wizards. So I'll just launch it from there. So this is what the SD Card Manager looks like at this point. And right now it's telling me the card needs to be prepared before it can be used in a drive. So I'm going to do that. It's very simple. All you do is click Prepare. And now it's done. And what just happened was Connect Software created a folder structure on the SD card so that the files that are stored there go to the appropriate places. I've inserted the SD card into my drive and I have a Connect project open here for that drive. So today I'm working with a Digitex M750. If I'd like to make a backup parameter set and copy that to the SD card, which is a, what I'm going to do, I'm going to begin by uploading the parameters from the drive I'm connected to. And what that did was that replaced my project drive parameters with the parameters from the actual drive. And to illustrate that, let's look at menu 5, which is where the motor parameters are. So as you can see, Anything that's highlighted in light blue has been changed from default. So these are the actual motor settings for the motor that is connected to my drive. Now let's open the SD card manager. As you can see, I have no files on the card right now. So I'm going to click Save Parameters to Card. The first thing it's asking is which parameters. My project could have multiple drives in it, so I would simply select the drive from this drop-down list whose parameters I wanted to copy to the SD card. I can also elect to write a parameter file from the project to the SD card. And as you can see, this project does have a parameter file, so I could choose to write that. And then down here, it's asking what type of file to write to the SD card. A parameter file gets everything, including any of the parameters for any option modules that are in, uh, installed onto the drive. A macro file, however, is a little different. A macro file will copy all of the setup parameters here as a difference from default. So the only parameters that it's going to write are those that have been changed from their default value. The macro file also does not contain any drive specific information. A parameter file will have the drive model number, its operating mode, and its voltage rating, where a macro file will not. And a macro file can be used if you have a project with different drive types, different frame sizes, for example, yet you want the drive to have the same functionality um, as this particular drive does. So that's where a macro file would come in as opposed to 
a parameter file because the parameter file can only be used with a drive of the same type and operating mode. The bootable parameter file is quite nice. What a bootable parameter file will do is if I were to tick this, what's going to happen is it's going to write the configuration parameters to the SD card, just like it would here, but it's going to set the boot flag on the SD card. And what that means is if this particular drive were to fail, for example, and I replace it with another one, as long as the SD card file is bootable, I would insert this SD card into my replacement drive. And on initial power up, the drive will read the parameters from the SD card into the drive's memory. So you sort of save a step. If it's a bootable parameter file, you don't need to uh, load the parameters from the SD card into your new drive manually. You can just have it bootable, like you see here. So I'm just going to choose a standard parameter file now. Files are labeled uh, numerically. I can have up to 999 files on one SD card. So I'm just going to go with file 1. And then I'll click OK. And now the parameters are transferred from the parameters folder to file one. When I come back, we'll look at load file and delete file options. The last thing we'll look at are the load file and delete file buttons. I'll begin with the delete file button. That, that's fairly obvious. That button is used to delete files from the SD card. The load file does have some options. First of all, it's asking where do you want to load the parameters from the card? If I chose a new drive in the project, it would create a new project drive for me using the parameters from file one. If I had more drives in my project, I could also elect to select a drive from the drop-down list and load the parameters from that file into another project drive. And I can also use this button to create a new parameter file, which would be stored as a parameter file in the parameter files folder. So those are the options for using the SD card manager. Thank you for watching, and more importantly, thank you for choosing Control Techniques.